In electrical terms, the influence of the comet could be far more significant than its trivial mass in relation to the Sun. What will occur electrically if the charged plasma or atmosphere of the comet interferes with the isolating double layer of the Sun's plasma sheath? Perhaps the observation of Nobel laureate Hannes Elfin, the father of plasma cosmology, could put the issue in context. It was his opinion that coronal mass ejections are caused by a breakdown or breach of the sun's double layer, an event that provokes an explosive exchange between the insulated plasma cell of the sun and the plasma of surrounding space. According to recent scientific reports, astronomers are rethinking long-held beliefs about the distant domains of comets and asteroids, abodes they've always considered light years apart. The discovery has forced astronomers to speculate that some asteroids are actually dirty snowballs in disguise. For many years, the standard view of asteroids asserted that they are composed of dust, rock, and metal, and, and that most occupy a belt between Mars and Jupiter. In contrast, comets were claimed to arrive from a home in deep space, most coming from an imagined Oort cloud at the outermost reaches of the solar system. But now, the locales of comets and asteroids may not be such a key distinction, says Don Verango, reporting on the work of two University of Hawaii astronomers, Henry Heisch and David Jewett. In a survey of 300 asteroids lurking in the asteroid belt, the astronomers detected three objects that look a lot like comets, ejecting little comet tails at times from their surfaces. The three red circles in the illustration above describe the orbits of these comet-like asteroids. In the electric view, there is no real distinction between a comet and an asteroid apart from their orbits. Thus the illustration makes the point for us. The red circles show greater variations in orbital distances from the Sun. Conclusion: Spacecraft have now visited four comets. What they found contradicts all expectations and falsifies accepted comet theory. But that theory is interwoven with every other astronomical theory into a cosmology that claims to define the universe as we know it. Verification of the electric comet, therefore, will have far-reaching effects on all theoretical sciences touching on the nature of the universe. Point. An electric field sufficient to cause electrical discharging on a comet beyond the orbit of the Sun, uh, beyond the orbit of Saturn, has the potential to power the sun. Point. We can no longer ignore the cosmic electrician's claims. They tell us that the sun is not a nuclear furnace, but an electric glow discharge. Its nuclear reactions are occurring not in the interior, but on the atmosphere of the sun, where the intensity of the discharge is highest. Point. The nebular hypothesis of planetary origins and its gravity-only causation rests on too many unwarranted assumptions. Astronomers must now ask, what was the role of electricity in solar system evolution? Point. The fabled residue of the primordial nebula, the Oort cloud, called upon to send comets into the inner solar system, has lost its rationale. Point. The electric field implied by comet behavior suggests that planets may not have always moved in their present orbits. The history of the solar system may bear little resemblance to present textbook descriptions. Point. Electric currents and electric events in our solar system appear to have countless analogs in deep space. Above all else, astronomers and cosmologists must educate themselves on the behavior of electric currents in plasma the end of the presentation. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope I've raised uh, enough questions in your mind that you will continue to research the matter on your own further and uh, I can provide links on my website which is located off to the right uh, to get you started uh, in, in your quest for truth. Uh, have a good night.